more than 50 percent but the other person will say yeah no worries so i think in the 70s uh this is in cialdini's persuasion book he talks about it he says that there's a long line for a xerox machine xerox is the photocopy machine mm. and they do a social experiment in that social experiment um they get someone walk up and try to try to try to hustle their way into the line to get to the front to photocopy without waiting in the line they ask three different people to say three different things the first person says and i'm butchering this but the first person says oh look i really need to i just need to photocopy something um, i'm running late i think like 60 percent of the time um they get in the line so four people say no get to the back of the line the next one says I really need a photo, 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 photo copy something. Do you mind if I jump in front of you in the line? Um, I've got a deadline to meet. So a bit more clarity around the reason. Last person says, again, I'm butchering it. I need, is it okay if I jump in front of the line? I'm running late. I think I need a, something like I need a, there's, a, there's an emotional story. Sh- to it, yeah. Story. And they go, yep, no worries. Yep, jump in. Like 94, 90, 90%, something like that. And it just goes to show it has to be, you have to be truthful though. But the whole point of that experiment is to show you that when you attach something real to it, to it and you tell a real person why you want it, you want something most of the time, more than 50%, the, the other people will say, the other person will say, yeah, no worries. The Xerox machine is no different really than sitting down with your boss and saying, um, I want to pay a rise. 